Hey everybody, welcome back. Rob Booker here, two part playlist again today. Two videos, two short videos, easy to get through, complete strategy, all in one. I wanna show you what I'm doing here with pivots. Last time we spoke, we talked about the British pound, New Zealand dollar, S2 to S3, R2 to R3. Today we're gonna to look at Adobe, stocks, oil, futures, commodities, untold financial instruments that haven't yet been invented yet, uh, precious metals, adamantium, or whatever Captain America's vibranium. All of those precious metals can be traded with this system. I'm just kidding around, but I'm not really kidding. Here is Adobe, and it's a stock. You probably knew that already. So welcome back, everybody. Nice to see you here. I heard an overwhelming number of comments yesterday that you want me to turn this into a robot. And as usual, I'm all about automation. Automation, automation, automation. Why do it ourselves when we can have a robot do it for us? Why take the entry ourselves when we could be imprecise, enter the wrong amount, enter the wrong trade, enter the wrong trade size, when we can just have a robot do it? This is Adobe. And what I wanna start things off with is the idea that let's say that you decide that you like Adobe. Whatever stock it is, maybe you like Adobe, maybe you like Stitch Fix, maybe you like GM, maybe you like Apple, maybe you like Amazon, whatever it is. Let's say just you, you, you start with the idea that fundamentally you really like this stock and you want to be a buyer. Here's what you're going to do, especially with stocks, not as much with currencies that tend to go backwards and forwards, but with the stock you want to say, if price hits S2, which is the which is the bearish bearish side of this equation you ignore it you're not going to trade it at all you're going to just ignore it completely with this methodology however if you decide that you're bullish on a financial instrument and it hits r2 this is a place where you might accumulate it on a momentum trade usually we talk about counter trend trades where we know we like a financial instrument and we wait for a pullback in today's video, what I want to introduce the concept of, before we skip to this next video, I want to introduce the idea that if you really like something and it's breaking out, it's not chasing after it if you buy it on that breakout. It's waiting until the market agrees with your point of view. That's what it is. So when we come back, I'm going to give you an entry and exit and profit target methodology that's a little bit different than last time and this time on stocks. We'll be right back.